some viruses make us more attractive to mosquitoes. Scientists have identified two tropical disease viruses that can use their host's body odor to their advantage. In rodent studies, both viruses changed the smell of mice to make them more appetizing to mosquitoes. We deal with them every year. Mosquitoes are the deadliest animal in the world. More than a million deaths a year are attributed to diseases transmitted by these insects. But is it possible that these diseases themselves additionally encourage mosquitoes to pick up viruses and spread them? At first glance, we'll probably think of malaria. But there are also other dangerous viral diseases for which mosquitoes can also be used as a means of transport. The first of them is the well-known to us dengue fever. It occurs and is spread by mosquitoes, mainly in the tropics and sometimes even in the subtropics. In the latter context, there is in the southeastern United States. More than 50 million cases of dengue are diagnosed each year. Unfortunately, this disease is also responsible for about 20,000 deaths. Deaths per year. Its main symptoms are fever, rash and sometimes hemorrhages. Anyway, for this reason and this disease is called hemorrhagic fever. Another such dangerous disease, which has been widely discussed in the last few years, is Zika fever. It belongs to the same group as the aforementioned dengue. Zika may not be responsible for so many serious cases among adults, but there have been cases where children of infected women have been born with significant birth defects. Such effects were, for example, the epidemic of this disease that took place in South America. More diseases fall into the same group, such as yellow fever and the dangerous West Nile fever. The viruses that cause all these diseases need one thing, a carrier, and endless infections in successive living organisms. Eliminating any of these elements breaks the cycle and leads to the end of the epidemic. This happened, for example, in 1793 when the frost in Philadelphia killed all mosquitoes carrying the yellow fever virus. What can viruses do to increase their chances and spread to even more organisms? As it turns out, they can attract mosquitoes to those already infected. It seems that the viruses responsible for dengue and Zika have become particularly good at this. Well, the skin of either animals or people infected with these viruses is more attractive to mosquitoes, it attracts them to a greater extent. The effect. More viruses taken in with the blood for later spread. How does it happen? The answer lies in one of the aromatic ketones called acetophenone, which attracts mosquitoes with its smell. Various types of research have been carried out. First of all, it was found that mosquitoes are more interested in infected mice than in healthy ones. Skin samples from both mice and sick patients were also tested and found to have increased levels of acetophenone. But the process of attracting mosquitoes is even more complex. Acetophenone is produced by bacillus bacteria, the amount of which on the skin is normally regulated by an appropriate antibacterial peptide. Zika and dengue, however, impair its production, leading to an increase in acetophenone levels. Experimentally, mice were given isotretinoin, a vitamin A derivative that supports the production of these peptides which resulted in a reduced amount of acetophenone present on their skin. These discoveries may give medicine additional possibilities in combating the epidemic of these dangerous diseases. The description and results of the research were published in the magazine, Cell. Bacteria, recreated, one of Van Gogh's most famous paintings. The line between art and science is sometimes difficult to grasp. 
Scientists studying a specific bacterium that moves and feeds in coordinated swarms have inadvertently recreated something that closely resembles Vincent van Gogh's famous artwork. When a certain gene is overexpressed in a bacterium called Myxococcus xanthus, individual organisms begin to form tiny circular swarms. When the resulting colonies are artificially colored, an image very similar to Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night emerges. Our work proves that similar bacteria, known as a rich source of medicinal products, can also be used to study the social behavior of organisms, and what's more, they have artistic beauty, says microbiologist Daniel Wall from the University of Wyoming. The description of the research was published in M Systems. In general, bacteria are not social organisms. However, in order to survive, M. xanthus must find and recognize its relatives. Once large clusters are formed, the bacterium is much better at feeding. Each cell produces digestive enzymes that break down organic material that is absorbed by bacteria. Scientists have been fascinated for years by the ability of these bacteria to cluster together into one superorganism. However, they still lack a comprehensive model to explain the complex movements of bacterial colonies. In 2017, Wall and his colleagues discovered a single genetic switch responsible for turning this group behavior on and off. Specifically, this gene controls a protein sequence known as TRAA, which forms a surface receptor for recognizing and attaching to another's TRAB receptor individual. Once attached to the colony via TRAAB receptors, the bacterium can exchange nutrients and proteins with the rest of the group. When such a swarm encounters food, Organisms can combine their enzymes and metabolites to make the digestive process more efficient. Everything changed when the team caused a mutation that overexpressed the TRAAB junctions. It is these junctions that glue the bacteria together into colonies. It turned out that when this glue is too much, the swarm cannot separate so easily to change its shape or direction of movement. In cells without mutations, bacteria move back and forth. Back and forth, explains bioengineer Oleg Agoshin of Rice University. The head becomes the tail and the tail becomes the head. And the swarm does it about every eight minutes, he adds. Overexpression of TRAAB seems to stop this phenomenon, which may be the first step to controlling the bacteria. Scientists believe that this phenomenon is due to the high viscosity of TRAAB, which indirectly stops the swarm of cells from changing direction. We assumed that there was some kind of contact-dependent signal between cells that suppresses changes in direction, explains Agoshin. Calculations and experiments confirmed the scientists' assumptions. Overexpression of the gene led to the formation of swirling clumps of cells measuring millimeters or larger. The result of the research is not only a better understanding of how millions of cells coordinate their movements, but also a mesmerizing view of the microbial world. The bacteria recreated starry night when they were dyed blue and yellow. But in other experiments, scientists used other colors with equally beautiful results.